What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are having a good one. Uh, as you guys can tell from the title, this is going to be a pretty interesting video um, and definitely one that is going to change the look of the car. Um, right in front of me, we do have the first piece. Um, it is going to probably be split into two parts since I do not have uh, the big reveal. I don't know exactly what I'm going to title it yet, so kind of staying hidden until uh, we actually get it in. Um, but this is going to be the replacement for the duckbill. It is just the OEM style uh, trunk lip spoiler. Um, looks a little bit different. Um, it's just kind of like the OEM style to replace the OEM one, uh, but it is full carbon fiber. It's a little bit smaller than the duckbill. Um, that way we can put something else on it. Uh, probably giving it away right there, but let's go ahead and set you guys up outside. It's probably not going to be too hard, knock on wood, to take off the duckbill since it's only 3M'd on, um, but I can only imagine the hard part is going to be cleaning off all that 3M automotive tape. Um, since we used ones that we already had, it is the heavy duty stuff. So uh, like I said, let's set you guys up, take off the first duckbill and move on to putting this new one on. So let's hope that this is actually a little bit easier um, kind of scared just to rip this off, but it's only 3M Dawn, so hopefully it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, let's hope we don't break anything in the process. Probably going to time lapse it. Also, I cleaned the car for you guys today, and it's already dirty due to the pollen, but let's go ahead right into it. go whoo it wasn't too bad probably took me like five minutes just kind of wiggling it off uh now the time is just to clean all of that up so let me just go put this inside and we'll probably take off all the 3m tape a little bit later um but let's go clean all of this up and get it prepped for the new uh trunk lip all right so first thing we're going to do i just have a wet paper towel also have my isopropyl alcohol um, and then probably gonna go through with um, some Goo Gone before we use the IPA. Um, but the IPA is just to get it super clean before we put on the new set of 3M tape. Um, really, let's just start with a wet paper towel and get all the dirt and debris off. All right, so we have the trunk completely cleaned off. Well, I guess not completely. There are still a few spots that just will not come off. Um, but yeah, it is fully clean. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put the 3M tape on the trunk lip spoiler and get this thing mounted. So we are all finished up and here is the little reveal for it. I would say Fitman's honestly probably like an 80%. It is not the greatest. If you guys can kind of tell, there's like a pretty big lip kind of sitting on the middle. I'll probably just have to watch out for that and kind of clean it out every once in a while, which is going to be kind of annoying. If it comes down to it, I can always just buy the OEM replacement, but I think the carbon fiber looks pretty good. So yeah, this is kind of the part one of it. I'll pick this up in just a second. It'll be a second for you guys, but I'll probably have to wait a little bit until the next part actually comes in, which would be just a few days. So I will see you guys in just a few seconds. 12 seconds later. We are back and right behind me, as you guys can see, we have a pretty large box to open. So let's set you guys up and get this thing opened up. I am so excited and I really hope you guys are too. 
before uh, we actually do install this, I'm not gonna record it, but I am gonna finish up the weather stripping and I think we're going to take off the trunk lip again and just kind of refit it just because I'm not 100% happy with the way it's sitting. So let's go ahead and open this. I'll go ahead and finish up everything I need to do and then you guys will see me put this thing on whatever it is. All right. I am so excited to open this. Uh, it's been here for a few days and I have not touched it yet. Um, kind of just wanted to open it whenever I was going to install it that way it wasn't sitting out and had the potential to get scratched at all. Um, so let's, <laughs> let's hope it's the right color. I did not check it all, but it definitely should be. And it got here extremely fast. It was on back order for six to eight weeks, and I think it only ever hit the five week mark. So we got super lucky in that. Oh, I'm starting to see a little bit of it. All right, here we go. So it looks like you guys can't even see it at the moment because it is all wrapped off. But if you guys can tell, <laughs> we bought a wing. We bought a freaking STI wing and we are going to slap this on a little bit later today. Uh, I'm not going to take this off right now, but obviously the next part of the video will see uh, me taking all this off, but I'm just going to leave it in the box until I uh, go to put this on, but there we go. Oh my gosh, this is going to look absolutely phenomenal. I'm very excited with this. So let me finish up all the little parts on the car and I will see you guys in just a second when we actually go to put this thing on. So here we have the STI wing all assembled. Uh, we're gonna clean off the trunk and start to drilling into it and getting this thing fully assembled. Um, I'll probably just time lapse this part because it's just gonna be, uh, you know, just drilling into the trunk and doing the usual stuff that, that we do. So um, I'll just set up the camera, clean off the trunk, and uh, yeah, let's get this started. I definitely wanted to change a little bit of location than doing uh, just a reveal in the driveway. Plus, I wanted I wanted to take a little drive with the new wing. And uh, here is the reveal. I feel like we've been doing a lot of reveal stuff on the channel, but holy crap. Oh my gosh, this is definitely what it was missing. Obviously the wheels as well. Um, I know if you guys watched the last video, I said that we were going to be selling the wheels. Um, obviously we have our new ones coming, which should be here in just a few days, um, just in case you guys didn't know. But oh my gosh, the wing sets it off. Oh my gosh. This is turning out to be such a cool looking car. I keep on getting flack from my stepdad that we're on Prius wheels at the moment on a wide body. So that's kind of the main reason why I decided to go with new wheels and tires just so uh, I could shut him off a little bit. If you're watching the video, come at me, bro. But there we have it. It looks so freaking good. The paint on the wing is phenomenal. And if we had the wheels, I would definitely be taking some pictures right now but we were just a few days away. Also, I finished up on a lot of the weather stripping as well. Sealed off the gas cap and the door as well. Just need to finish off the side skirt pieces and then the front pieces as well. I've been slacking a little bit on that, but oh my gosh. It is looking so good. Just having that little bit of pop on the back is all the difference. It looks so good. It's definitely what it needed. 
and from all the pictures I've seen of wide body cars, they all have a wing. I think the duckbill was definitely very good on the stock body, but it was time for something a little bit different. And oh my gosh, honestly, the stock wheels don't look too bad, but we are very close to having it fully complete, fully done. And then we just need to button it all up for slam enough in May. Um, probably the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, side skirts and a rear diffuser, um, and then also probably doing paint correction and a ceramic coat. That way the car looks very pretty and gets out all the scratches since it was a used car and doesn't have any ceramic on it now. Hopefully we can eliminate all the chips and the, and the scratches that are already on the paint. Can't see it in photos, but people are gonna be coming up to the car really close um, and slammed enough, so I definitely want it to be looking really good and not just meh for the amount of work that we've done. So yeah, we're, we're so close. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, a lot more content is going to be coming for the channel. And as of recording this, we are at 495 subscribers. So probably by the time that we upload this, we will be at 500. So thank you guys so much. I'll definitely say thank you in the next video as well, but we are halfway to a thousand and we're going to constantly keep on growing and I'm never gonna stop making videos for you guys. And it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the journey. So thank you guys. I'll stop talking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out.